In a couple of recent segments, I've discussed with you the sad story that is Lindsey Graham. One of the reasons is because of his willingness to put his own legacy, his own principles, his own backbone up into flames and serves it from. Well, there's one person whose story is even sadder than that. And that is a man by the name of Rudolph Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani, someone who at one point in time had a reputation given his presence as the mayor of New York City during 9-11 that you would describe as a good reputation. But then he decided to give his loyalty to Donald Trump. And that loyalty comes with it, as we've seen with so many people now, a disaster. Eventually, the inevitable end of the loyal to Trump road is disaster. And for Rudy Giuliani, that means bankruptcy. The Independent reports Rudy Giuliani threatened with jail as he yells at judge during chaotic bankruptcy hearing. A judge threatened to cut his line off after Giuliani repeatedly interrupted lawyers and the judge. Now, I will remind you of a past, if you might be thinking, did we talk about this already? A past example of a judge having to threaten Giuliani with muting his mic during a separate hearing. But this was just yesterday. Rudy Giuliani's bankruptcy hearing devolved into chaos when the former New York City mayor interrupted the court after a lawyer for his creditors said she would consider seeking prison time for his alleged bankruptcy crimes. At the hearing on Wednesday morning, Rachel Strickland, lawyer for the two election workers who Giuliani defamed and now owes $148 million, argued in favor of dismissing the Chapter 11 bankruptcy case. So, the background here is, as we covered extensively, Giuliani was sued for defamation by these two election workers in Georgia, Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. They were just doing their job, serving their country, doing a civic duty, and he decided to use them in a center of a conspiracy theory that led to their lives being turned upside down, lying publicly as a public figure about two private citizens who didn't have the same platform to push back and, again, attempting to, and in part, ruining their lives temporarily with these election lies. And so they brought him to court, and they won this defamation case. Now, of course, Giuliani, with his tough financial situation because of this legal case and others, is uh, struggling to figure out how to pay and trying to avoid as is playing out. So that's sort of the background, then we'll continue. She said that she feared Giuliani would get a hall pass, that happens far too often, if the case was not dismissed. Citing his pattern of filing late and inaccurate financial reports, Strickland then suggested that Giuliani had committed bankruptcy crimes and that she would seek jail time. So this is Strickland, the lawyer of the election workers, trying to get their money for them, and uh, that's why she's aggressively going after Giuliani, not financial repercussions. Giuliani, who was on the call, interjected, yelling, would someone get them on the phone? The judge then asked for Giuliani's microphone to be muted, and then he said, your honor, this is Rudolph Giuliani. No one cares. Uh, he, told the <laughs> he told the judge, adding that Strickland's comments were highly defamatory, your honor. How dare you, Rudy? Defamatory. That's, that's what you're liable for, sir. Giuliani said he wanted to break or wanted a break, but the judge said he would have to wait until after Strickland finished her presentation. Quote, sir, everybody gets a chance to be heard, but you cannot interrupt someone else while they're being heard, the judge said before threatening to cut his line off if he didn't stop talking. Later in the hearing, Giuliani's lawyer, Gary Fischoff, told the court there were some statements that the debtor was going to commit bankruptcy crimes Giuliani would not be committing any bankruptcy crimes Strickland filed a motion on July 8th in favor of the dismissal of the case so that we'll see how it proceeds and hopefully these election workers get justice and they got that in the in the court of public opinion and they got that with the outcome of this case, it being determined that, yes, Giuliani defamed them, but they need to get financial justice, too. And so hopefully they'll be able to actually get at least some of this money. Now, that's the bankruptcy hearing where Giuliani's having to be shut down by the judge, talked to like a little kid. We're all going to have our turn, Rudy. 
This just happened recently, which is sort of interesting, at his arraignment for the fake electors related indictment out of Arizona. So he's been indicted in Georgia for trying to block the peaceful transfer power through fraudulent means. He's also now been indicted in Arizona. And during this, uh, this arraignment, he just kept on ranting. We have the audio of this to give you a sense of probably what the bankruptcy court was also having to deal with and that judge overseeing it. And finally, the judge had to just say, stop it, or I'm going to have to mute you. I've been, I've been indicted in, uh, in Georgia. I've appeared on every occasion. Uh, I've, been sued in, I've been sued about 20 to 25 times by uh, a very, very similar movement to this one, which is the uh, let's see what we can do to destroy Donald Trump. Okay, give me I just do a moment. Okay, sir, I, sir. I do consider this indictment a complete embarrassment to the American legal system, but I've shown no tendency not to comply. I show up for every court appearance, and I, there must have been about 20 to 30 of them. There is no history right, of sir. my being a flat risk, which is the basis for uh, a sale. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I think it'd be Can outrageous if you set a bond uh, in this in this completely in this completely political case that comes very very late. All right, sir. Sir. Sure. Three years. <laughs> Giuliani, I don't want to mute you, but I need to move on. Um, give me just a moment. I, I, I understand what your position is regarding uh, release conditions. Rudy Giuliani. Yeah. So he just kept on going. And I think actually the judge had to just go ahead and mute him. That's why he cut off so abruptly. I'll remind you that this indictment came uh, within this context. ABC News reports Rudy Giuliani was served Friday night with notice of his indictment related to efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in Arizona after his 80th birthday party and after boasting on social media that he had avoided being served. And uh, Giuliani, in a sense, deleted tweet, wrote, If Arizona authorities can't find me by tomorrow morning, one, they must dismiss the indictment, two, they must concede they can't count votes. And he posted that, and then very shortly after, they found Rudy, and he's now being held legally accountable. Now, is this just celebrating the financial and legal pain of someone we oppose the ideology of? No, of course not. This is celebrating what appears to be justice. Back during the post-2020 election saga, where these individuals were engaging in election interference schemes, trying to prevent Biden from coming into office, even though he had won the lawful election, and spreading all these lies that were breaking down people's belief in our secure election. One of the things that we held on to as why we could get through that moment is because we had a belief in justice and hopefully eventually these people will be held accountable. And it is going to take time is what people, as I was saying, at least in my personal life uh, back then, I didn't have a show, but it may take time. And hopefully, though, eventually we will see justice. And that's what's happening. You can't break the law while trying to to block the peaceful transfer of power. Not only in a general law and order sense do we want to hold people legally accountable, but also the long-term repercussions of doing so are so monumental. Sending the message to all future people who are hungry for power despite losing a democratic election that they cannot engage in what these MAGA folks did and that you have to respect our lawful process. You can challenge the results of elections through the courts, which these individuals did, but when you lose those court cases and you just start trying to have local officials engage in fraud or trying to assemble fraudulent electors as the fake elector scheme here that he's experiencing legal troubles because of was, or trying to get your vice president to violate the constitution, that's outside of the bounds of what is allowed. And hopefully Trump, Giuliani, and many of these other MAGA folks will ultimately be held fully accountable. And then on a personal level, separate from the violating of criminal law, people like Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman, again, who were just doing their civic duty, also need justice. And uh, that's what is being pursued there. Just a lickety split pause to request you, if you're not already, to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. So easy and free, but it makes all the difference in the world. 
appreciate it. Back to the video. Giuliani, because of his financial troubles, is trying to raise some money. And as we talked about on a bonus show, you can get the bonus show at uh, just by clicking the join button below. Giuliani's now selling coffee maybe to raise some of this money. I'm thrilled to introduce you to something I'm incredibly proud of. My own brand of organic specialty coffee, Rudy Coffee. Believe me when I say it's the best coffee you'll ever try. It's smooth, rich, chocolatey, and gentle on your stomach. It's so good, I even recommend drinking it black. It comes in three varieties, including what I promise is the best decaf you'll ever have. You can order now by scanning the QR code on your screen or by visiting rudy.coffee. By supporting Rudy Coffee, you're not just treating yourself to exceptional coffee, you're also supporting our cause, the cause of truth, justice, and American democracy. You'll also be supporting the- Truth, justice, and American democracy. Let me say it this way. Truth, justice, American democracy, Rudy Giuliani. One of those terms is not like the other, okay? <laughs> Giuliani, that's not the cause you advocate on behalf of. And you don't respect the rule of law if you abandon your dedication to it the second it's inconvenient. And that's what we've seen from folks saying, well, because they were unhappy with the election, now all of our laws and all the processes by which we determine if an election is free and fair and secure, all of our system of laws doesn't matter anymore. And we should just get to pick through illegal means and we shouldn't be held accountable for it. We should be able to pick who's the president because we really want him to be. You don't care about truth, justice, and American democracy, if that's the activities you were engaged in, Rudy. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments. If you want to get an extra episode of the show daily, you can do so by clicking the join button below.